Hey everybody, welcome back to the Speakeasy. Today we're going to do a tequila of the week. This one's going to be Codigo 1530 Reposado. Now this is another uh, celebrity brand. George Strait owns this one. Award winning tequila. Um, story goes that he found this down in Mexico. He used to uh, vacation in Mexico quite a lot and he always wondered why the place he went people would reach under the bar and get that for the, give that to the locals when they showed up but then whenever all the visitors would come in they would reach right back behind the bar and give them that so he got it to inquiring wanting to know what the difference was and they said well this is local this is made by a family around that area and so he wanted to try it Lo and behold, he ends up, uh, I guess, partnering with them, and this is the result, a Codigo tequila. Now, I got the Reposado. I don't think I have any others of his, but they have a Blanco. They have the Añejo. This one happens to be a Reposado. So, if you can tell, this one uh, has been hit quite often, but I've done a lot of, more of sharing it with friends uh, than I have drinking it myself, although this one is one that I think that it, it smells good. It doesn't, um, I don't think it tastes harsh. Uh, it's been quite a while, it's a couple of months at least since I've had any of it, so see if I can remember what I like about it. But it has that tequila smell to it, fruity, and to me tequila most of the Reposados and Añejos, they just, they smell so good to me because of the, uh, they, they smell smooth, I guess is a good word to say. But I just love the smell of it. A lot of them don't have that harsh alcohol burn to, the, to your nose whenever you smell them. This one doesn't. A lot of those, um, I guess, cheap brands do, which is why you need the salt and lime to chase them with. And uh, now I was, Always wondering what the difference was why some, you know, somebody would charge high dollar for shots of tequila. I ended up at a tequila bar one time and talking to a gentleman. Basically, he said, good tequila is just like good bourbon, good whiskey. It's going, not going to burn too bad. The proofs, alcohol proofs can be higher and they will uh, charge more, obviously. And, but he said, good sipping tequila is good to have which is what I've been looking for just as well as good sipping bourbons. That's what I'm on the hunt for. Uh, some mezcals. I haven't really found a sipping mezcal yet, but uh, trying to get in more into the rums and tequilas, and today it's tequila time. Let's try this one. To me, that one is tastes so good on the lips and the mouth. You get a, you get a sweetness whenever... You lick your lips, at least I do, lick your lips after you get a drink of that. It just, it's really smooth and probably just about now, you saw how long ago it was I took that drink, I get a warmth going down, not a burn, just a warmth. And you can feel that warmth go all the way down and then it just goes away. I mean, it's, it's a really, really good tequila. I, I like this a lot. And I could sit around and sip this neat, which... If you watch this channel for any time, you know I am not a neat alcohol person. Most of my stuff I drink on the rocks. This is one I could set and sip like the guy I was talking to at that bar. He had a little shot of bourbon and he had a beer on the side. He would sip the tequila a little bit and then he would drink his beer uh, to enjoy the tequila uh, as a good sipper. Now, I've never tried this on the rocks. It might be pretty good. I don't know, might even be good if you had, uh, you know, a, a little, maybe a, a, some kind of a fruit chaser, like a, a lime or a lemon citrus chaser, but you do not need the salt and lemon, salt and lime to uh, take the burn out of your mouth with this tequila at all. It is very, very good. Highly recommend you guys go get some. Good, good stuff. Hey, I appreciate you guys tuning in this week for the tequila of the week. Come back next week if you're interested in tequilas, uh, mezcals, rums, 
And then also, you know the story, we do the bourbons and whiskeys one day of the week, and we're going to do beers one day of the week. So come back and see us. And in the meantime, be sure to like, subscribe, share with your friends. Give me the big thumbs up. Make sure you get notified whenever we get new videos posted out there. I appreciate it. Until the next time, this is Scalper. Out.